Here's another laser project I recently finished. This is my custom-built 100 milliwatt green DPSS laser pointer with instrumentation and safety features. It's a small form factor laser with real-time measurement of current, voltage, power, and temperature, has a graphical RGB display, and is rechargeable via USB Type-C. The laser is built into a 3D printed housing measuring 42 by 34 by 16 millimeters. It has adjustable laser output power with a linear constant current driver and includes a password to unlock high power modes, making it relatively safe. Here's how I built it. This project started when I came across my old Wicked Lasers pointer from many years ago, uh, from which I removed the diode and optics and measured the stock driver's output current, and then started building a new linear constant current driver that could have the output current adjustable from firmware. This is done by forming a linear constant current sink with an N-channel FET, a current sense resistor, and an op amp. The positive reference for the op amp, which sets the set point, is generated via resistor divider from a PWM signal which is filtered to DC with a capacitor. The microcontroller that will run it is a PIC18F26K40, and also connected to the microcontroller are two momentary switches, uh, two thermistor-based voltage dividers for measuring laser diode and heatsink temperatures. The display is a small 160 by 80 pixel IPS RGB display with the ST7735 controller. Charging is done with a USB-C input jack and an LTC4054 lithium battery charger, which also provides a charge status signal to the microcontroller. The current and voltage on the lithium ion cell are monitored with an INA209 power monitor and a current sense resistor. I built a co copper clad blank PCB cut by hand and included a piece of half millimeter copper sheet connected to the MOSFET drain to act as a heat sink since the FET will dissipate a lot of heat at high current. The display is soldered to one of my custom general purpose display boards, which is essentially a microcontroller breakout with solder pads for the flat flex connector on the display. With all the major components established, I started 3D modeling the laser optics, driver, battery, display, switches, USB jack, and protection circuit. Then I designed the housing around them. The housing is printed in three parts. The front is solvent welded on after some components were installed. And the back is a friction fit that can be removed for access to the programming connector. I built up most of the electronics on top of the battery and then insulated everything with capped on. The display breakout board with the INA209 went on top of that. And then I started installing hardware into the housing, starting with the laser optics and USB jack, then switches, and then the battery with all the rest attached to it. I also broke out the programming connections to a small 0.05 pitch female header so I could work on the firmware after it was fully assembled. And after finishing the wiring, it was time for firmware. I designed the user interface for this so it could be easily used as a normal laser pointer at a safe power level by simply pressing a button from standby, which wakes up the microcontroller and it starts outputting at 5 milliwatt as long as the button is held down. On the display, you can see the operating mode, uh, labels for the button functions, a live readout of the laser diode current, A label for the laser power level, and then temperatures for the diode and heatsink, battery voltage, and battery charge level. Uh, after a few seconds of inactivity in safe mode, it will go back to sleep. For higher power, it needs to be unlocked with a password. Now, the password is just a sequence of up and down presses, which is not very secure with only 32 possible passwords, but it at least prevents unintended high power outputs, makes it relatively safe around kids or people who don't know what it is. Once unlocked, it's now showing armed and there's a countdown bar up top for when it will automatically relock and shut off after inactivity. So here you can see the updated uh, power level. And uh, as before, pressing the top button turns on the output. From the ARM page, the bottom button now goes to a power adjustment where you can pick any power level from 5 to 100 milliwatts. 
So if I reduce that, you can see a corresponding reduction in the drive current on the diode. And if I run this for a while, you can see the heatsink temperature start to rise. The firmware monitors both the laser diode and heatsink temperatures continuously and will force a cool down by reducing the power level if they exceed 50 Celsius. And this can also be manually relocked by holding down this button. The whole thing can be recharged with USB type C cable and that will wake it up to uh, display the charge status and the charging current. And that is my custom 100 milliwatt laser pointer. Thank you for watching.